guys, so it's time for me to do my empties for December and I've actually managed to get through a lot so far. Um, most of it's face masks and body lotions but you know I'm trying to get through them. Uh, I'll just let you know it is early morning so you may hear a lot of like moving around floorboards and things like that but I can't help that with this house that we're in. But I'm just going to get on into it because I have got another video to record after this. Let's just grab on then. First thing I've got to show you are four honey eye masks. I absolutely love these whenever they come in at work at TK Maxx. I always buy them. I wear these at night just before I go to bed just to relax myself and get rid of the deep puffiness. Um, I have got one more pack to go and then I need to buy some more. I'll try not to because I am going to burn at the end. Um, and then I've got some face masks. So the first one here is a character face mask by The Face Shop. If you've got me on Instagram, you know already what this looked like. This was an amazing face mask. You had to leave it on for, I think, about 30 minutes, but it really did make your skin soft. So I have repurchased this mask already. Um, so you will be seeing a few more of these in my empties again. I did love that one. It was very good. Next face mask I've got is the Lazy and Easy Character Sheet Mask by Holika Holika. This one was not as good as the Tiny Mask. I didn't feel any difference in this one, any difference in my skin. I think I didn't have to leave it on as long as well. Yeah, 10 to 15 minutes. So maybe if I left it on longer it would have done some things. So I won't be repurchasing that one. And the last sort of mask thing is I've got a Melting Essence foot pack here. This is um, avocado butter. I had these on 15 minutes last night before I went to bed. And I don't know, my feet do feel soft, but I think this would have been better after I'd done a um, baby foot pack or if I had my feet in the water for a long time. Um, but I didn't really feel any difference apart from it made them soft. The next thing I've got is my pure cotton wool pads. This I use to take off my makeup with my um, Garnier Micellar Water. It's so early I can't even think. Uh, I only had a few of these left so I just repurchased those already. Next is my skincare facial cleansing wipes. I use these in the morning to take makeup off the back of my hands um, and swatches and things like that. I will always repurchase the Morrison ones. And I do have quite a few of those already. Now getting into bottles and things. So the next thing I've got is my L'Oreal Studio Pro Lock It Fixing Hairspray. I had this for about, it must have been six or seven months. I was in my old room um, when I first purchased this. It does lock and hold. You really do have to brush it out. And it doesn't smell too bad. You know, it, do it doesn't smell too bad of hairspray. Um, I would repurchase this if if it went back on to offer, but it is rather expensive by the full price. But it is a big bottle as well. I have one body lotion here. This is the Smoky Poppy Shower Gel from the Body Shop. I love my Body Shop ranges and I'm buying loads more of it now. This is one of my favourite scents. It is very masculine, which is strange for me because I hate like masculine wax and things like that. But this is so nice. I don't know what it is about it. It is poppy. It's definitely floral. It has that masculine undernote and it is pure black as well. Um, I would always repurchase these if I ever see them coming at um, the body shop or at um, TK Maxx because we're getting a lot of body shop at the moment. I'm following on from Smoky Poppy. I also have the tiny body butter. This is literally the minuscule size. So this took me like a couple of days to use up. I love the Body Shop Body Butters, they're really great for dry skin, um, I use these every night on my legs, so these tiny sizes only last like a couple of days, especially when you have showers in between and you do your whole body, um, which is why I have another one, this is the Body Shop in, what is their strawberry blend, I love this one as well, this is so true to straw like fresh picked strawberries. It's a real one. I love that one. I'm trying to find it in um, a large size without paying like a massive amount because I think these are like £14 in the big versions. But I always get my body shop butters um, when I'm on, they're on sale or I've got vouchers. Um, the next thing I'm going to go on to is this one here. This is my smoothie peeling jam. I use this in the morning as a face scrub. It really does smell like grape. 
because it's smooth my face. It really does smell like grape and it really does like smooth out your skin. I love Japanese skincare at the moment, so Holika Holika, um, Tony Moly, anything like that. I'll always try it out. And this one didn't last too long, but I do know to search it out again um, if I see it at TK Maxx or online. We're getting to the nitty gritty now, guys. This one I don't think I need to review really, but this is the Sure Maximum Protection Confidence um, Deodorant. It's the one that comes out at the top, you have to just twist it up when you need some. You're meant to put this on at night, but I actually find it works better for me in the morning. It is an expensive deodorant, but I will repurchase it once I need to. Next one I've got is the Burberry Sport Little Mini Spritzer. I bought this from TK Maxx last year in the sale and it's one of my favourite scents. It is also sort of a manly scent but it is also feminine. It's one of my favourites. I'm glad I got to try three spritzers of this. Um, I'd purchase it if I saw it in the sale but it's not one that I'm going to search out. Next thing I've got is a tiny little um, sample of the Clinique Prep Start Eye Cream. This was very good and very liquidy, so it was easy to rub in. It didn't have a scent, and I didn't really see any anything happen to my bags because of it. Um, but it was nice to try it out. I got this on their five free sample deal when you bought something online. And then the next two are makeup, which is surprising. I only used two up. This one is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control and Fixing Spray. It does not control my oil at all on my skin, but I have very oily skin anyway. It kind of works as a fixing spray, but because I have awesomely oily skin anyway, it doesn't really do much. Um, my last one here is the Benefit Their Real Sample Mascara. This one had a very good brush which means it does fan all your eyelashes out. It does have a bit of a spiky bit at the top though, which I never use. It doesn't smell funky, uh, but I have been using this for the last couple of months, so I decided to swap this out for a Clinique one, but one that I would purchase if I had vouchers. Not, it's not one I'd purchase without, because it's quite expensive. So that's everything for my December empties, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope there's just as much next month so we can carry on getting through stuff. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.